Yeah, I remember all those good times too. But you know what, we, we really need to get back to the business at hand. Um, for your question, naturally, your children may have some expectation of inheritance. No. no. But no. you're under no obligation to leave them anything. Cynthia gets nothing. She's been greedy and she's been ungrateful. She's so unlike her mother. Besides, her husband is loaded. They don't need my help, Lena. Don't worry, Arthur. I'm going to do a draft of your will that's so airtight, she won't even be able to challenge There's Roger, and then there's Roger. And, and that, that's a whole nother story. I guess, I guess I'll leave him something. Well, but he's going to burn through it in a year. Like I said, you're under no obligation. Your children are both grown adults. I know, I know. Let, let me, let me think about it. Sure. But, but the bulk of my assets are going to Mary's favorite charity. Oh, uh, which is? The Huntington Gardens. Oh. She absolutely loved that place. I'm sure if the gardens were a man, she'd have married him. <laughs> well, was that her final wish? No, no, it was, it was her first and her forever wish. I guess, I guess it's poetic justice. Mary, she would, she would always say, Arthur, give me flowers now while I'm alive, while I can enjoy them. I won't appreciate them or even smell them when I'm dead. And did I, I, I not, not like I wanted to, not like I should have. 